That's why maturity is important because you grow in wisdom. I am so thankful that God didn't answer most of my prayers. God has not answered most of my prayers, and I am so thankful. Because I have matured in God and because I've understood uh, of some things in my spiritual walk, I am so thankful. The woman that I'm looking at right now, I'm so glad that God did not answer my begging prayers to bring this other girl back into my life. I'm glad that God didn't answer my prayers at 17 and, and 21 and 25 in business or 27 or 23 or, or 19 in ministry. I'm so glad to answer my prayers when I was asking God, God, I want this building and, and this would be great if I was traveling. I'm glad to answer that prayers because I would not have become an answer prayer to the kids in the school system. You know how many times I was begging God, God, why is my ministry, why is Unplugged coming down? And I didn't have no clue that God was like, yo, I'm bringing schools through. And right now, that's why I don't pray for certain things. I pray you'll let your will be done. Because God, I've lived long enough I've learned enough to know that some of the stuff that I prayed for was not good for me, even though they were in a good category. See, I want God, not good. I don't, I don't, I don't want just good. I want God. And so the older you get, the more mature you get, you'll be on your knees weeping for God. God, I'm so glad you didn't answer that prayer request. For God, if you answered that prayer request for me, I would have been done. Some of us would have been in prison. Some of us would have been had 14 baby daddies. and, and <laughs> well, Most of us would have had some crazy stuff in our lives right now if God answered our prayers. And the reason why God hasn't answered your prayers because he's trying to turn you into an answered prayer. If God would have answered those prayers, I wouldn't have been my wife's answered prayer. She wouldn't have been my answered prayer. See, the goal in life is not just to be looking for answered prayers. The goal in life is to become an answered prayer. Who does God want you to become mature enough so that you can answer the prayers of? Do you know what, how many people in the marketplace right now is waiting for your God-given idea? They're waiting for your answer prayer, but due to your insecurities, self-centeredness, or whatever limiting belief is limiting you from being the person you need to be for the people that need you to be who you need to be so they can have what they desire to have and overcome what you've ever came. Life is not about you and I. Life is about becoming an answer prayer, a continuous answer prayer. Every time my students see me, I'm an answer prayer. Now, you know, every time my wife sees me and my daughter, I want to continuously be an answer prayer. An answer prayer is a father. <laughs> an answer prayer is a husband. You just can't answer that prayer one time. You got to continuously be that answer prayer. Oh, my goodness. Woo! When you mature, you make wiser decisions. You have greater discernment. See, you 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 make like life is about chess, not checkers. Everybody just wants to be kinged, but nobody wants to protect the king. Everybody wants to jump in and king me, king me. Everybody wants to be king me versus protecting the king in you. Chess is about protecting your king, and protecting your queen. Protecting the being that king of kings, Jesus, the king of kings. I'm that second king. You got to say, instead of trying to be king, I got to protect the king in me. Chess is about thinking three to four or five moves ahead. Being in discernment, yo, this ain't, I don't think it's right for me. Increased in wisdom. Number. Thank you so much for watching my video. I pray that it was a blessing to you. And if it was a blessing to you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also make sure you check out the links in the description box below. Links to my books, card games, coaching programs that I believe will help you grow holistically for God's optimal use. I love you guys. I'll catch you next video. Peace.